Hello everybody! Oh, it's so good to be back and I'm here bringing you a Christmas themed makeup look. So you guys can see I've got my little Santa hat on so without further ado let's get on with it. So firstly I'm of course going to prime my eyelids. I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige to neutralize my eyelids and make sure that there's no veins or pigmentation poking through that will disrupt the eyeshadow. Next I'm going in with a setting powder. I'm just using my Zooey Nutmeg Foundation um, as a, like a little kind of powder to set the crease a little bit and also give a bit of definition there because it is slightly darker than my natural skin tone. For the first color of today I'm going in with this beautiful kind of peachy ready tone and on a fluffy crease brush I'm taking that just lightly through the crease just to kind of plan out or like map out the eye shape and create a little bit of a transition as well. Next I'm going in with a slightly deeper red. I'm going in on a more dense brush. This is the Definer Crease Brush from Zoeva. I'm just placing that through the crease back and forth and then going in with some of this kind of deep burgundy red shadow on a petite crease brush from Zoeva to deepen up the crease a little bit more. And then I go back and forth between the previous eyeshadows to soften any harsh lines or edges. Then I'm going to take this beautiful kind of deep red, like, I don't know what you call it, like a burgundy red as well, but slightly more of a red tone than a pink tone on a pencil brush um, from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and placing that right through the crease to create a little bit more definition there. And then of course I go back and forth between the previous shadows to soften any harsh lines or edges. You know the deal. Now it is looking a little bit crazy at the moment so I'm going to cut the crease now. And I'm going in with the same concealer that I used to prime my eyelids with. On an eye concealer brush I'm just going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. And taking that cut crease about two thirds of the way across and I just soften the edges out with my finger so it softly blends into that deep red on the outer corner. For the lid shadow, I'm taking this shimmery, kind of champagne-y white shadow from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. This is Beam, I believe, and Light or Beam, one of the two. Um, and I'm using this on a precise shader brush from Zoeva um, to get a nice crisp cut crease line. I'm um, basically bringing that all over the cut crease area, so about two thirds of the way across. And then I'll go back in with some of that deep burgundy red shadow from the Chi Chi palette on a petite crease brush and just kind of melt the two colors together as best I can. I'm also just a dark in the outer corner and I will go in with another shadow. This is a uh, Tarte I think from the Juvia's Place Deuce palette. I'm putting that in between the red and the white shadow. It's like a pink kind of shimmery reflex shadow so I thought it would help the two colors transition. But then I was like, mm, it's still a little bit harsh. Like it helped the white shadow, but it didn't really help the red. So I'm going in with Crayon Apple from the Jaclyn Hill palette, which is a beautiful shimmery red shadow. And I'm placing that next to Tarte and in between like that deep burgundy red shadow on the outer corner. Just to help those colors all melt seamlessly together, honey, you know the deal. I love a good seamless blend. <laughs> Next to create that candy cane liner look, I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk on an eyeliner brush from Eeg Show and I'm mapping out the eye shape. So I'm making this liner quite thick as you guys can see here and I'm bringing it about two thirds of the way across my eyelid, not taking it into the red, just kind of where the white meets that like red shadow I guess. And then I start to fill in that liner uh, with the NYX Jumbo Pencil. Um, just like you would on a candy cane, I'm just splitting up the segments a little bit, as you guys can see. And then for the red part of the candy cane, I'm actually taking a liquid lipstick. Um, I don't know if it's eye safe, so do be careful. And this liquid lipstick is from Colourpop. It's in the shade Succulent. It's such a beautiful kind of like fire engine red. And I'm going along the top of the candy cane liner that we've created here, just above. And then I go just underneath it as well. Um, creating those little segments of red in the candy cane. 
and voila you should have a little something like this <laughs> now for lashes i'm actually going in and using the eyelore you want it lashes um i believe i think that's what they are i'm pretty sure uh, I just felt like they gave a bit more volume, a bit more vavoom, but without covering up the liner and the eyeshadow too much because I do want that to poke through. For my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going in with this WA shadow from the Focalore Travel Palette, the Perth one, and I'm placing that on my inner corner and brow bone. To deepen up the outer corner on the bottom lash line, I'm taking that deep red shadow and really wiggling that tightly against my bottom lash line, just on the outer third and then softly blending it out with a pencil brush and some of this kind of red shadow so it's nice and smoky. Then I'm going to finish that off with some bottom lash mascara and the eyes are complete. So moving on to lips, I kept it like obviously with the Christmas theme, a nice deep red lip. You of course can do nude if you prefer. The eyes are a big statement so the lip doesn't need to be so like bold like I've done it but like I said, I wanted to keep with the Christmas theme. So I'm going to line my lips with my eye coal from Makeup Geek in the shade Espresso. It's a nice deep brown and it helped uh, kind of crispen up the edges of my lips. And then filled in my lips with the Zueva Liquid Lipstick in the shade Matte Chat. And then over top I used the Colourpop Lip Gloss in the shade Wolfie to give that gorgeous red glossy lip. And this, guys, is the completed makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed today's Christmas themed makeup tutorial. Let me know what you thought down below and what you'd like to see next as well. I love you all so much and I hope to see you very, very soon. Mwah. Merry Christmas.